Coming up on this episode of FYI Guy Live, turn thrift store men's apparel into gifts he'll love, make a tie wreath, create a no-sew apron from old shirts, and so much more. Coming up next on FYI Guy Live. You're too nice. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Welcome to FYI Guy Live. I am your FYI Guy, Jeremy Ray. I'm so glad you're tuning in for this episode because I'm very excited about this episode because I am calling this the men's apparel episode. And I know when you look at me, you think there is one manly man. I get it all the time because I never, ever leave my house without a glue gun and my tape measures. <laughs> what? What? You need me to measure that? No problem. I love these. <laughs> Today's show is all about men's apparel, and it's great not just for Father's Day, but maybe for his birthday, or maybe for uh, anniversary, and what do you get the guy who has everything? Or maybe you just, he just has clothes that you hate that you want to cut up. <laughs> it's very hard. I, can't, I always have to keep uh, my clothes. I never like to throw anything away. So that's why I'm going to use some of my old clothes, and some I've got at thrift stores. So if you have old clothes, Today's project is exactly for you, but I'm going to need a volunteer. So I think today I'm going to go to my jar of fun, and I'm going to pick a lovely volunteer who has to help me. Where is Cheryl Schaefer? Cheryl, come on down. Hi, Cheryl, come on over. Hello. Hello. Come over here. So good to meet you. Thank you. You too. Well, thank you. Thanks for being here. So very good to meet That's you. Exciting. Now let me ask you, Cheryl, are, are you married or have yes. a significant other? Yes. Okay. And does he have a good fashion sense? Pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Are there any old ties of his that you wish you could just cut up? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> this project is for you because we're going to be making what I'm calling the tie wreath. But again, it doesn't just have to be a wreath. There's many uses for this, which I'll show you after. So what I've done is I've taken a normal hanger, you know, the wire hangers, mm -hmm. which I don't have anymore because I saw that movie about no wire hangers. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. So I got rid of all my wire hangers, but I did save them for projects. So what I've done is I bent it into a big circle as if it's a wreath, okay? Mm -hmm. Now here's the fun part. Grab your scissors. Okay. Look at all these fantastic old ties who were donated by lovely ladies here at the office who went through their husband's tie closets. We have one that looks like that. I know. There was, I don't know if I put it in here, but I actually found one from the 80s that was leopard print and then had like a tiger on it. <laughs> I did not use that one. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. The first thing is you need to figure out how long you want the ties. So what I think is a good judge is I'm gonna put the first tie right underneath the hook because we want to cover that. And then I'm just going to cut it right here. Now, if you want to grab a tie, how about you start cutting some ties? OK. And I'll use this as the template so you can kind of go off that. Right. Now, here's the fun part. You can be watching TV or watching FYI Guy Live. <laughs> start cutting ties. Just cut them on up. Now, OK, I'm going to cut these. If your scissors are bad, I apologize. I've been cutting a lot. 
Now I'm gonna keep going while you're cutting ties. So I'm okay. gonna need, you're gonna need 10 ties for ten this. Ties. Okay. 10 ties, keep going. Okay, now, all you need is hot glue for this project. And again, I love the ties because they're thick enough where you don't burn your fingers. <laughs> look, look what I'm doing. I'm not burning at all. That's good. That's, that's very good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You're gonna also need the small end of the tie. So I'm just gonna eyeball this just real fast because I don't think we need them too long. Sometimes when I eyeball things, it doesn't work out right. And then I have to say, let's start over so it looks right. Because sometimes it doesn't work out. How are you doing the ties? Where are your ties? Doing okay, right here. Okay, right let me take these. Okay, so then you're going to match them up like this. Look how pretty this is already. And you're gonna have the points going out. And I'm not having you hot glue because you're doing such a good job cutting. Great. Look at that, look how pretty that is. And I love hot glue because it dries so fast. Do you see the points? It's almost like a flower, and I love this. And it seems to me when I was out, I was out bargain shopping, uh, shopping for old <laughs> ties. And I found a lot of red and blue ones. Do you remember that? Was that was that a style? Just red and blue all the time? It must have been bicentennial year. Oh, it could have been. And they were really, really thick, really like really wide oh, yeah, ties. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me, you're gonna keep cutting, but this is what it's looking like so far. Now, I'm going to take, oh, thank you. It's not even done. Thank you, it is not even halfway done, and I appreciate that. You're gonna take the small end of the tie, and you're going to put it in the seam, right like that, and then we're gonna glue that one down, because I wanted layers, and I keep adding things sometimes, until it's so overdone, the production company has to tell me to rein it in just a little bit. <laughs> because I keep adding. She's cutting ties, you're gonna keep adding this. Here's what I found. Sometimes the ties wanna flop over, so I got some craft foam, and I'm just going to put this in the back of the tie, and I'm gonna hot glue it in, and you basically just cut it to fit, so the tie is sturdy on this side. So use this, and you get a whole pack of this for like $4, and it, I haven't run out in four years, so it's really good to use this. <laughs> I'm also thrifty when it comes to this. See how that is? You just basically oh, cut it down nice. and then glue it right on the back and use these ties in the gaps. And then, you did such a good job. And Thank you. I only used three of your ties, and I apologize. That's okay. Because you know TV, you have to rush. And I want to show you this. Awesome. It's so pretty. So, okay. Here was my dilemma, because I got this together and I thought this is a great wreath for the door, so what if you just put a tie and tied it right there in the center just to pay homage to the tie itself, <laughs> but then you could put that right in the center of the table, put a huge glass hurricane with a mm. candle in it, or get a round mirror and use this as the frame. Yeah. Yeah. Hello! Yeah. Possibilities are endless! Yeah. Now, I really want you to use this as a wreath, so I'm dictating to you what you have to use this for. I apologize, because okay. I want to see what this looks like, because I'm, get, I'm getting the wrap cue. You just glue that right in place. I think it's adorable because, again, you're putting a tie in the tie wreath. And let me go hang this on the door so we can all get a good look at this. Let's see. Look how cute that is! Really. It is the best of both worlds, because I know he probably doesn't want to get rid of the ties, but at least he can see them every day. How about that? Yes, that's And Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl, you can take that home and, and see what your husband thinks, okay? Great. It's yours, you can have it. Thank Give Cheryl you. a huge round of applause. Yeah. Thank you so much, you're so pretty. Thank you. Hey, don't go anywhere. We have another fantastic men's apparel project coming up, and guess what? It's gonna help you stay clean in the kitchen. So, come on back. If you like everything arts, crafts, home decor, and so much more, then you're going to love Jeremy Rabe's FYI Guy Craft Crush Instructional DVD. Now you can watch the king of crafts create the most amazing artistic creations step by step from start to finish as Jeremy turns his penny-pinching creativity into incredible works of art while he turns trash into artistic treasure. Just one crafting session with Jeremy costs over $50, but with Craft Crush you get 12 complete instructional sessions for 
for just $29.99. But hold on to your glue gun, because if you order right now, you get an instant $10 discount. That's right, you get the Craft Crush Volume 1 directly from FYI guy Jeremy Rave at the low introductory price of only $19.99. On Craft Crush Volume 1, you get 12 personal demonstrations on how to make the vintage suitcase pet bed, the teacup bird feeder, the shabby chic wood plaque, magic melt crayon art, glitter glam candle, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? That's over $500 of one-on-one -on -one instruction with Jeremy for just $19.99. Go to FYIGuy.com right now and get Craft Crush Volume 1 before they're gone. Craft Crush will provide you and your family hours of fun and it makes a great gift. It's the FYI Guy Craft Crush Volume 1. Avoid the rush. Get Craft Crush. Don't delay. Order yours today. fun of my pink iron. <laughs> it was here at the studio, I promise. <laughs> All right, let me ask you a question. How many of you out there love to sew? Yeah? Awesome. How many of you cannot sew? Good, because I can't sew either. So wait, if you can't sew, raise your hand. Let me see who's out there. Okay. Nice lady on the end in the salmon color. Come down here. Come down here right now. I, I want you to help me, because if you don't like to sew, Come on over here. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> all right, tell all the lovely people out there what your name is. Deborah Stang. Deborah, uh, now you don't like to sew or don't know how? <laughs> no, oh. no. <laughs> you, neither do I, and that's the number one thing I get asked about all the time is sewing. And I, my Aunt Bonnie is a fabulous seamstress. A lot of my family members can sew, and I, that's one thing I never learned how to do. But I have discovered the glories of hem tape. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I can iron. I can iron, Deborah. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to take, maybe there's a shirt. Are you married? Yes. Maybe there's a shirt of your husband's that he's had for 30 years and you hate it so much that you try to throw it out and he finds it in the dumpster and brings it back in. Several times. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess what? We're going to cut it up, and he can use it every time he barbecues. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, Sounds all right. Good. So, take his old shirt. Now, here's what I've done. I have uh, drawn the lines of where we're going to cut to make it easier. And here's where we're going to cut on the front, right up the sleeves. And in the back, we're going to leave that strip. Those are going to be the apron strings. So let me set this here. Now, if you can grab your scissors. And I love this project because we don't have to add anything to it. We're cutting the shirt and keeping everything intact and we don't have to add straps or anything. It's just basically cutting up the shirt in this pattern and then we're going to use it, okay? Sounds good. So great. let's take your, cut right here at this seam right here with the, on the black line, just like that. Both sides. Now get it started and then we're actually just going to cut. Yes, is it? The, are the scissors, <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay, now let go. Let go inside. Now go inside just this side. That okay. makes it easier. Uh, okay. Yes. So cut along that. <laughs> Nice. How's it going over there? <laughs> I put past the armpit. We're doing good. <laughs> I washed the shirt before we're using it, I promise. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Your, I think my scissors are better than yours, and I apologize. I could ride these out of town and be okay. <laughs> we're going to cut right on up to the collar right here. And you can see this. Now, I'm going to keep going, and then I'm going to meet Deborah on the other side, okay? I'm going to meet Deborah. Okay. All right. Okay, good deal. Let's meet in the middle. Kissy, kissy. Okay. <laughs> She's married. I'm just kidding, husband, if you're watching. I'm just kidding. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay, now, you cut along the back, along the seam. We don't have time, but I have another one. You're going to cut along the seam and leave the seam because we don't have to hem tape that side. And let me show you what we come up with. In fact, we came up with something that I'm hoping to bring back, and that's the short jackets. <laughs> Like if, if you are making these, let's not waste any part of the shirt. Let's bring this back. And now you can see, 
here's what we've cut. And again, would you see how not pretty I cut that? It's okay, because guess what? We're hand taping it. Now, I'm going to cut right down the middle to provide the apron strings, right like that. And now we get to hem tape. So, and again, I am not going to use my uh, tape measure. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. And I'm going to take the hem tape and put it right here. Oh, it tears. And it tears it very tears. easily. You did not know that. I, I don't sew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't either. I just love hem tape. And then we're going to fold it over. I'm just going to make a little slit right here so I can fold over the hem tape. Now, if you can hold it, I'm going to iron, and I promise I will not burn you. OK. OK? So hold that over right here. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> you doubt my iron abilities. And now what you're going to do is you're going to hem tape. And this is really, I was surprised how well this held up. Um, I was making one, and one of our production assistants, who does not care about crafting or sewing or anything, said, hey, that looks really good. So if you get that seal of approval, that is really good. <laughs> he asked me if I sewed it. You're going to do that all the way around. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way down, and then we're going to do the apron strings as well, all the way around. And then I, oh, I'm so sorry. I have to take this. <laughs> Take this off. There we go. And then here is what you're going to get. Oh, oh nice. Bravo. <laughs> and you're ready to barbecue. Beautiful. Look, I added a pocket square, and then Deborah, I made you one too. Oh, perfect. Thank you. because I wanted her to stand out. And this is yours, and I want you to take this home to your husband, will, okay? Will, will you? I will. Okay, awesome. Hey, <laughs> give Deborah a huge round of applause. She's making me laugh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, don't go anywhere. When we come back, it's viewer mail time, so don't go anywhere. Come back. <laughs> That's very cute of you. Thank you. Hey, everyone. You know, I really want to invite you to go like the FYI Guy Facebook page because I'm always updating things every single day and I'm sharing your photos. If you have a great project idea or maybe something you've made, send it to me on the Facebook page and I'll send it out to the world. We'll share it with everybody. We'll like it. We'll comment. It's a great way to keep interactive with your FYI Guy, me. So log on right now, facebook.com slash the FYI Guy. You didn't expect to see me here, did you? No, I'm in here because, let me tell you this, between commercial breaks, we're all like one giant fun family in here. It is so much, is it not? Yeah! It is fun. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get on out in the crowd. Let's talk, let's answer some uh, viewer mail right now. The first question comes from Kennedy uh, from Jackson, Mississippi. What other patterns besides chevron do you like? <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy, I hear what you're saying. You say, you talk about chevron too much. You love chevron. And not that I'm pointing anything <laughs> out. <laughs> yes, I love chevron. I have to say, though, I love what? I'm sorry, what? Do you like? I know, I love it. I love polka dots and I love damask. Do you like damask? Do you know damask? Uh -huh. I love, and I never know if I should say damask or damask. I say both pronunciations are fine with me. You will not get a dirty look from me if you say it wrong. <laughs> That's fine. And I have always loved paisley. I love paisley. Yeah. A nice paisley print. Yes. Yeah. I love paisley, yes. So thank you, Kennedy. I do like other patterns, I promise. Okay, Stephanie in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. If you added up all of the hours you spend crafting, how many days in a year would that be? <laughs> okay, let me do the math. Uh, I would probably be crafting 387 days. <laughs> I hate to admit this, but I have awoken in the middle of the night from sleep crafting <laughs> with my glue gun. <laughs> it happens with my glue gun in hand. Like, how did I get here? Yeah. No. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. And our last question comes from uh, Laura Lee in Brandon, Florida. We know you love bow ties, but do you have any regular long ties? You know what, I do. I mean, I didn't always have a lot of bow ties. I had a lot of regular ties, and then I arrayed in my dad's closet, and I've come up with something new that I really like to do. I love to make miniature tie keychains. <laughs> so funny. I, I made these and all the stuff goes, those could be great for dog collars too. Oh, Hang those yeah. in front. Here, I want you to have this one. Have that one. Here, have this one. You can have it. Thank have that. You. Yeah, that's what I do with my old tie, so thank you. Hey, if you have any questions, make sure you go to FYIGuy.com. Find me, email me, go to the FYI Guy Facebook page. We're always checking it and your question could be featured right here on FYI Guy Live, so send them in. When we come back, we have one more great men's apparel project and I promise this one is super cute. You're all going to be going, aww. <laughs> you will, so come back. Hey everyone, it's me, Jeremy Rave, your FYI guy. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there watching today's episode going, wow, that audience looks like they're having so much fun and they're so happy and, well, guess what? They are. They're extremely happy and having a great time. If you'd love to be a part of the studio audience of FYI Guy Live, just head on over to FYIGuy.com and send us an email. Let us know if you'd like to come because spaces are limited and it's first come, first serve. And the best part is though, you could be picked to do a project with me live on the show. Could you imagine? I mean, that would be so much fun. So head on over to FYIGuy.com right now, hit us up and we'll see you live in the audience of FYI Guy Live. Welcome back to the men's apparel show. I always have to check my bow tie because this is actually a real tie bow tie. I tied and it always gets crooked. So if it's crooked, just email me. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> I'll be getting a lot of emails now. Uh, you know, I want to do another project and I think, I'm not a mathematician, I think I've come up with a really good formula to pick somebody from the studio audience to come and help me. So let me just do my calculation real quick. Nine times three divided by pi square root. <laughs> Square root of seven divided by three, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You in the pink, come down here. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how I are you? you all the time. Come over here. Thank you so much for watching me all the time. I so appreciate it. What is your name? Pat. Pat, well thank you so much for helping me. We're gonna do a really fun project. Now, if you're watching the segment before, we had cut up the men's shirt to make an apron. Now, you can use that same shirt for this project or you can get another colorful one. I have picked this nice purple and white striped and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut off the sleeves, okay? okay? So I've got you scissors right there and I've got scissors and here's how we're gonna measure. I'm not gonna use this. Oh. I'm gonna use this. Just so you know, it is, it, it's grape juice. It is yeah, non-alcoholic. It, it, it is grape juice. You, prom you see that? Yes, it is. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay this bottle right here, and can you cut right here? I can try. You, okay, good deal. Okay, I'll hold this. Right here. Yeah, just right there. You can't, you can't mess this up, I promise. It's very easy. You're doing great. There we go, I'll, I'll hold it tight, there we go. I picked the shirt because I love the purple color. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do mine over here because we're gonna work on this together. I just thought it'd be fun to, to work on this separately so we can each have our own. Now, you can make an apron out of this shirt if you want. See, the, the, the body is still intact, so you can use that. Now, take your sleeve, and we're going to turn it inside out, okay? Turn it inside out. And for those of you really smart at home, you know what we're making, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you yet. Inside out, and we're going to use the hem tape again. Love Cause it. I can't sew. Love it. Do you yeah. sew though? Are you a good sewer? No. I love hem tape though. You love hem? Do you have you used hem tape? Yes. Okay, good. At least she's used it's it. Okay. Good stuff. It is good stuff, and it's really strong. So I'm going to mark it right like here. Okay. Let me get see the width of yours, and we're going to mark it right there. You know what? I don't need one. I've made these. Let's make one together, just so. Now this is inside out again. Mm -hmm. We're going to place the hem tape right here. 
and then we're going to iron it. Do you want to iron that? Sure. Don't worry. <laughs> you can... It, I it, can do that. I can iron. <laughs> Okay. You did great. You did great. Well, I was saying, I sometimes have left it on there, but it's okay. It didn't scorch or anything. It was oh. fine. But I, it got really super hot. So make sure it's really good. And then you're going to let it cool a little. I would let it cool just a little bit to make sure that hem tape glue adhesive mm -hmm. is, is there. Turn it inside out, and we'll see how well you ironed. Pretty good. I, I should have let it cool a little bit longer, but that's okay. This is TV. We got to hurry. There we go. Okay, so you get the idea. Look how cute that is. Oh. But we're gonna put this, if you're going to a dinner party and oh. you wanna give it a nice bottle of something that's non-alcoholic. <laughs> do the, but, or, or the, you, you could put uh, bottles of any sort in this and give us a great gift. But then I saw this and I said, Pat, it needs more. So oh, yeah. I went back to my tie collection <laughs> and said, how cute would this look with a little bow tie? So I'm gonna make just a little bow tie using the small end of a tie, and I'm basically making, like I'm making a bow. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna wrap it around, and then I'm gonna tie it in the back, and I'm gonna cut it off and have two little strips, just like that. But here's the thing is, I've made one already, because I knew I wouldn't have time on the show. Would you look at this cute bow tie? Oh, it is cute, very cute. So what I did is I put peel and stick Velcro on the back of this, and then I'm gonna put it around the bottle like this. And let me just show you. I, I didn't, I knew I wouldn't have time. Here's one. Oh. Here's one. Here's one. Look how cute that is. They are beautiful. I love them all. That's a cute gift idea. Yes, it is. This is cute and original, and your guest is going to love it. If you go to a, a dinner party, give them this because you made it yourself, and it's so stinking adorable. They're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Give Pat a huge round of applause. Thank, Thank you. Pat. So good to meet you. So good to meet you. Stay right here. Okay. Thank you so much. I want to thank all of my fantastic guests in this amazing studio audience. Make sure you go to FYIGuy.com. Keep checking back because we're updating the site constantly with all new episodes and great ideas, and I don't want you to miss anything. Till next time, I'm Jeremy Ray, your FYI guy, keeping it fast, easy, and fun! <laughs>